Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at using a reference layer for colouring objects in Procreate. I have an image here which is a line art image of a caravan. And if we have a look in the layers palette, you'll see that there's a layer that has all the line art on it. Well, I'm going to add a new layer for the colour. But what I want to do is to place the colour on layer 2 but leave the line art on layer 3. And the way I do that is to specify layer 3, the one that has the line art on it, as a reference layer. So I'll tap its little thumbnail here and choose Reference. When I do that, you'll see that the word reference appears under the layer name. So I'll retarget the layer that I want the colour to be placed on and just tap away. Now I can drag and drop colour into my artwork. So I'll take the colour and drop it into the place where I want it to appear. So the colour is going onto one layer and the line art is on a totally separate layer. Now if this were not a reference layer, let's just see what would happen. I'm going back to my colour layer. Let's drag and drop a different colour into an element in the illustration. When I do that, it fills the entire illustration because Procreate has no boundary here to indicate where the colour is to go. So the ability to set up a reference layer allows you to show Procreate the areas that you want to be able to drop colour into and still have the colour go onto a separate layer. Now the colour layer can be above or below the reference layer. It doesn't matter how it's placed. It's still going to work exactly the same. Now there are a couple of things in relation to reference layers that you need to know about. The first thing is that there can be only one reference layer in a document. So if you try and set up another layer as the reference layer, any other layer that is already specified as a reference layer is going to have that feature turned off for that layer. The other thing is that you need to have closed shapes. So let me just go and add a shape that's not going to fill. You can see this shape is not complete. It doesn't go all the way around. And so if I try and add colour to that object, let's see what happens. The colour is dropped into the entire background of the image because the shape that I tried to add it to is not a closed shape. So I'm just going to wind that back. So when you're creating line art to use this reference layer feature with, you'll need to make sure that all the areas that you want to drop colour into are actually closed shapes. But let's have a look at another situation which is sort of going to work and sort of not. So this is a drawing that's been done with a 6B pencil. So the lines are sort of a little bit fractured. So let's see what happens when we try to drop a colour into the house. And I'm going to drop white in. First of all, I need to set this as a reference layer. And I'll need to add the layer for my colour. And let's drop white into the house. And as you can see, it's not been highly successful. But it could be successful if we change a setting. So I'm just going to back out of that and I'm going to drag the white colour into the image. But you'll see at the very top of the screen when I did that, that there's actually a threshold value. So if instead of dropping the colour in, I drop it in and wind the threshold back, I might be able to get better results. Now one of the problems with that is that you need to be able to move far enough off the screen and you may not get far enough off the screen to change the threshold value to a low enough value the first time you do it. So you have a couple of options. You can scale your image a little bit differently so that you've got more room to be able to maneuver your pen or your finger or you can simply do it a couple of times until you get the results. So here you can see the color drop threshold is around 6%. If I increase it, at some point the color is going to go a whole lot further into the document than I actually want it to. Well, again, I'm running out of space here. So let's just see the point at which the color drop no longer functions on this document. Well, there it is, about 26%. But if you move your pencil or your finger to the left or right, you'll be able to adjust the color drop threshold setting to an extent which is going to allow you to fill a shape even though it's got some minor holes in it. 
I hope this video has helped you understand how you can use the reference layer feature in Procreate to keep your color away from your line art or your sketchy lines when you're coloring art in Procreate. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.